Reconciliation is the process of comparing and matching figures from the accounting records of your side against those shown in the bank statement. Now for this purpose, first you need to check the records into your system. So first go into financial management and check out your invoices which are open or which are already processed. So this will show you the details about your invoices. So as you can see, these are your invoices. Uh, among those, uh, two invoices are open. First is uh, for residual amount 250 and the another one is for 5000. So these are your invoices which are shown into your system. Now we'll see the bank statement which you'll get from your bank. So this is the bank statement and uh, we have made it CSV for the purposes of importing it for the further use. Now this bank statement is showing you the amount debited and credited into the bank and the details about the same. Uh, now we'll see the last date last column which is statement ID. This statement ID you will get it from the statement which you will create into your system. For this purpose we will again go into the financial management under which we will go for periodical processing then bank reconciliation and select the statement reconciliation. So the statement reconciliation will show you the statement ID which is ST082619. This ID you need to copy and paste for each entry into your bank statement. So this is the file which you need to import for your unreconciled entries. Now we'll add up the journal here for which it is check journal. Now the starting balance is the starting balance of your journal which you have selected and the ending balance will be calculated on the basis of statement which you have got from the bank. So this is your ending balance. Now select entries are the entries which are already reconciled into your system. For that purpose you need to select those entries from your records. So select these two entries which are already done with their processing and save and edit it into your system. Now we will go for the entries which are not reconciled. For that purpose you need to import your CSV which you have created. Select the location for that particular file and import that bank statement. So this process will import all the entries which you have into your bank statement but not into your system. So again save and edit so that you can see the details of the imported statement. So these four are the entries which you have uh, imported from your bank statement and which you need to uh, confirm it into your, your system. For that purpose now click on this button which is edit button. and then press go to reconcile and then press shift F1 so that it will open the particular form for confirming this particular entry. Now select the entries. First we will select the entry for rupees Six thousand. Then you need to save this particular record so that this entry will be saved. Now you need to select next record which is pending of rupees two fifty. Again press shift F one and select this entry from your records which is to be reconciled. This is done to link the invoices so that they can be paid into your system. for the purpose of reconciliation.
now you need to update this record to make it reconcile and now compute this particular statement now you can see that the balance computed is same as your ending balance from your bank statement that means your entries and has been reconciled and for the entries of interest and bank charges you don't need to reconcile it from here these two entries will be automatically updated into your check journal now confirm this particular statement so that all these entries will be reconciled now you go to customer invoices to see your updated reconciled entries so this process will show you your updated invoices depending on your balance debited and credited into your bank now as you can see out of those two invoices one is totally paid which was of 250 rupees and another is open for 1000 rupees because it is reconciled only for rupees 4000 so in this way you can reconcile your entries into the open erp thank you